Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue with Valorant D3D11 compatible GPU is required to run this engine. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed with the resolution. In the basic step, head over to your settings menu, choose Windows Update, and if any update is pending at your end, make sure you choose the option Download and Install to make your Windows up to date. And secondly, open up your Rovit client and if any update is available, make sure you click on the option update to update Valorant also in your system. If this doesn't fix out, let's proceed with the second step. Head over to your browser and here I have a link. You need to open this Microsoft Visual C++. Scroll down and you will find the option of x64. Click on it. This will download Microsoft Visual C++ in your system. Once it is downloaded, go ahead and run it. Accept the terms and conditions and install Visual C++ in your system. Once installed, as it is saying, make sure to restart your PC to fix out the issue with Valorant D3 D11 compatible GPU is required to run this engine. Next is you need to download DirectX. Here is the official website to download it. Once downloaded, save it into your system again and install DirectX latest version in your system. Again, make sure to restart your PC after installing DirectX also in your system. Once both the programs DirectX as well as Visual C++ installed in your system, restart your PC and try to play your Valorant again and check if you are still getting the issue of D3 D11 compatible GPU is required to run this engine. If this also failed, let's proceed with the next step. Right click on start menu and choose option device manager. In device manager, you need to expand your display adapter. At my end, these two graphic cards are present and first one is my internal. So you need to right click and choose the option disable. Once disabled, go ahead and launch the red Valorant to fix out the issue of compatible GPU is required. If this also failed, let's proceed with the next step. Open up your browser and you need to download this DDU uninstaller. Scroll down and click on the download link Save it into your desktop. Once downloaded, go ahead and unzip the files present over here. Now here is DDU. Go ahead and run it. Accept the terms and conditions to install it in your PC. Now once you launch it, now in DDU, you will find a device type and device. Click on it and choose the option GPU over here. And from the drop down list, choose your graphic card, whichever you have Nvidia, AMD, or Intel. I have AMD, so I'll choose AMD. Now in the next step, you need to click on the option clean and restart. Once you click on the option clean and restart, it will go ahead and completely uninstall your graphic driver present in your system. Once the drivers are uninstalled, this will restart your PC. After that, head over to your browser and here this is the official website for AMD, for NVIDIA and for Intel. All you need to do is for AMD users, click on the option and type simply the name of your graphic card. At my end, it is AMD Radeon RX 5500M and then hit the enter key. Click on the submit button and depending upon the type of windows you have, expand your windows and click on the download option to download it into your system. Same way for NVIDIA, scroll down and you need to manually search, provide the details present over here and hit the start search button. And then you will find the option of game ready drivers. Click on the download option. And this will provide the download link for your Windows PC. Save it and then install it in your system. Same way for Intel users, you can simply choose the graphic option over here. And from this left pane, you can easily choose the name of your graphic card and then click on that option download now to download the drivers for your graphic card. 
so once you downloaded the drivers for your graphic card go ahead and install it just like you install any game or any program in your pc to fix out the issue of d3 d11 compatible gpu is required to run this engine so this is all about it friends this is how you will fix out the issue if this video works out for you i request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel thank you so much friends thank you for watching